the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 138, Job 25 to 31. Prosperous days seen from the days of poverty. Facing the blame of his friends who interpreted Job's suffering to be the matter of sin, Job hoped to hear God's judgment. First point, Bildad claimed until the end that Job's children died because of Job's sins. Bildad from chapter 8 consistently claimed that the reason Job's children died was because of Job's sins. Bildad's aim was to make Job admit his sins and also admit that the reason he was suffering was because of his sins. Bildad said that human life was like the life of insects. Dominion and all belong to God. He establishes order in the heights of heaven. How much less a mortal who is but a maggot, a human being who is only a worm? How then can a mortal be righteous before God? How can one born of a woman be pure? And then, on the other hand, Bildad said that because humans are God's creations, we resemble God. What Bildad failed to see was God's mercy for humans. If he saw this, then he would not have been able to say the hurtful things to Job. Bildad spoke as if he had no sins and then rebuked Job for all the things he had supposedly done wrong. Second point, Job told Bildad that his knowledge about God was too limited and subjective. To Bildad, who was so ignorant, Job used metaphors and other examples to fight back. To Bildad, who claimed that Job had sinned against God, Job argued back. How you have helped the powerless? How you have saved the arm that is feeble? What advice you have offered to one without wisdom? And what great insight you have displayed? Who has helped you utter these words? And whose spirit spoke from your mouth? Job asked whether Bildad had ever managed to persuade someone in the past. Job furthermore told him that his words were long and pointless. Job revealed his knowledge on God that Bildad did not know. And these are but the outer fringe of his works. How faint the whisper we hear of him. Who then can understand the thunder of his power? But Job himself was far from understanding what God had planned from all this. Third point, Job claimed his righteousness and waited for God's judgment. It was very difficult for Job to listen to his stupid friends and missed his deep suffering. They made him lonelier. My lips will not say anything wicked, and my tongues will not utter lies. I will never admit you are in the light. Till I die, I will not deny my integrity. I will maintain my innocence and never let go of it. My conscience will not reproach me as long as I live. And so Job rebuked his friends for condemning him. May my enemy be like the wicked, my adversary like the unjust. For what hope have the gatherers when they are cut off? when God takes away their life. It is an earthly theory that God rewards the righteous and punishes the wicked. However, we should not come to abroad conclusions based on our temporary suffering. The wicked may seem to prosper 
in the short term, but God will have His justice in the long term. A wicked person will eventually perish and lose all their property. A wicked person will also be ridiculed. The reason Job was confidently able to say this was because he knew that he was not a sinner and that the true judge was God alone. Fourth point, Job reminisced about the past when God had blessed him. Job reminisced on the days when he was respected and his life was full of glory. Job was indeed a person who used to be respected. When I went to the gate of the city and took my seat in the public square, the young man saw me and stepped aside and the old men rose to their feet. He was among the elders to judge others and to lead the people. He was a wise man whom the people wanted to listen to. Job wanted to return to those days. Job was also a man who was kind to his neighbors and was consequently blessed because of his actions. Job was also a righteous man. I put unrighteousness as my clothing. Justice was my law and my tavern. God's blessing and the human mission is directly connected. Some people believe that if they act like Job, then God will bless them. Others believe that if God blesses them, then they could live a righteous life like Job. Satan wanted to test God on these issues. Skin for skin, Satan replied, a man will give all he has for his own life. But now stretch out your hand and strike his flesh and bones and he will surely curse you to your face. Job was once an acknowledged leader, but his status had changed so drastically that now he pleaded to God. But no human has the right to complain to their Creator God. This is because God fundamentally wishes His creation peace and prosperity. Fifth point, Job spoke about his moral social and religious loneliness. Now Job started to say that if he had sinned, he did not have a problem with being punished. Job firstly said that he was morally righteous. Secondly, he claimed that he was socially righteous. He explained that he had looked after the weak and poor in society. He had acted in the way a person of God should act. Thirdly, he claimed that he was religiously righteous. With his closest friends condemning him, all Job could do was claim his righteousness to God. When he got to a point where he could no longer speak with his friends, Job honestly waited for God. He recalled how he had lived and now waited for God's judgment based on his life. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how 
to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.